bet JC know me, huh? I'm a New Orleans nightmare. This city can't sleep on me, huh? I put my heart in these streets, huh? I feel like the new BG, huh? The government raised a nigga, huh? Thank God for EBT, huh? Now they slaving, they will ride your beat, honestly. How you my prophet? I told you this day would have arrived for me. Labels, they trying to control my destiny like this is democracy. I grew up in poverty. Come on, come on, they trying to bury me alive. No, no, no. What's up, gang? Uh, it's your boy, Camman9 in the flesh. And uh, y'all know I've been doing a lot of sit down video type vibes. And I see today we outside starting in this video. I'm gonna try to do this every every video I make. I'm gonna try to do this at the beginning of my video. We're gonna have a sit down. I'm gonna let y'all know my goals and what I'm shooting for. So, sit down video is to let y'all know what my goals are. So right now, y'all, my goal uh, is to build my credit, save my money, and, you know, shoot for the stars, you know, eventually be able to go on a car lot and buy a brand new truck or a brand new car, you know, something like that. Um, so that thing is, my prediction, I'm gonna have way more money and I'm being, I'm very honest, y'all, and I'm, I'm not BSing y'all or trying to get views off of this, uh, trying to show off or, you know what I'm saying? I'm serious. So, my goal is to have more money than Kodiak Black, Own Me in the Hellcat, and, uh, you know, other big YouTubers. My biggest goal is to have more money than Steve will do it. I mean, yeah, that's the man. And we ain't gonna forget about Mr. Beast, but... I don't think Mr. Beast has millions of dollars. I think he think he has a lot of sponsors so he can spend a lot of money. But look, y'all, um, that's my goal. That's my plan, you know, and it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very hard. But you know, at the end of the day, it's gonna be easy. I'm 20 years old and I wasted like, I'm gonna say 15 years of my life not focusing on money and credit building. I was more focused on friends, going outside and playing, and just being a, you know, a kid, dog, which if I can go back in time, dog, I would change that, you know, but maybe if I changed that, I wouldn't be here right now, I don't know, but anyways, y'all, um, we're going to start off, you know, if y'all seen the recent video, me and Ethan went, opened up a bank account with Capital One, and uh, that's just the start. You know what I'm saying? That is just the start. Um, my next biggest move, I'm gonna be straight up, man. My next biggest move is to actually be able to maintain and save money. Y'all, I've blown through so much money. So much money. I've blown through it. The only reason I'm not straight today and everybody else is straight and I'm like just sitting here like, God damn it, I need some money. Uh, it's because, yo, I, I like to invest into myself, like my, uh, truck. My lawn care business is putting a hole in my pocket and, you know, etc. Things I want to buy, shoes, clothes, getting a haircut. My haircut, $45. You know, it's, it's a whole bunch of things I'm going to change. Um, uh, and long, the lawn care business is a part of that change. Uh, what things am I going to change in the lawn care business? I'm gonna try try saving the money I make with lawn care, cause that's another thing. I, whenever I be like, yo, it was a two hundred dollar day, yeah, two hundred dollars gone. Not in a day. I say in about two days, three days, I say two hundred dollars gone. And it don't go back to my business. It goes to stupid things, and it's crazy. But you wouldn't call these things stupid, but they stupid, you know. Um. I'm changing a lot of things, how I think. I'm going to start going to church more. I'm praying more. I ain't going to lie. I'm praying more. Because, dude, this inc last incident I had with my four-wheeler put a dent in my career. Then I ran. I came from out of a cut and I slammed into the back of a car. I did not get hurt. I did not get damaged, thank God. I'm blessed for that. But we did lose the four-wheeler. Not only that. We uh, got a court date, and that sucks, because I never wanted a court date. Like, my plan was to just 
keep going in life. No court dates, no tickets, none of that. But it happened, and you know I can't change the uh, I can't change the past. I only can better myself in the future, and that's the goal. You know, like I said, this ain't no game. I'm not playing. I'm dead serious, y'all. And I've never been so serious. Let this car pass real quick. I've never been so serious, you know. And uh, everything I make is going to the bank. I don't care if I'm outside with slippers and uh, a sun hat with some socks on and some basic clothes. Dude, I don't want any of that. I bought a jacket for $250. A $250 jacket. I bought a chain. That, or, yeah, I bought a chain. The chain was like $400. $250, $400. You got about $600 and some dollars. And that ain't the only expense. That four-wheeler, that four-wheeler was not running. And your boy put $1,500 down. Bought the four wheeler, not down. I bought the four wheeler for fifteen hundred, and then I put an extra five hundred into the four wheeler. That's two thousand dollars. That's why you, whenever you see me like, oh, hey, um, my four wheeler three grand. Yeah, cause I didn't put about three grand into the four wheeler. Buying it plus adding parts and stuff. I had to fix my own four wheeler. I learned how to work with small motors, just because, dude. Expenses to fix that bike was like, dude, I'm paying like four or five hundred dollars. And you know, honestly, it was my fault. Honestly, you know, riding on that trail, riding with somebody else, dog. I knew that when I got on the trail, I should have downshifted and I should have got on my brakes. See, why I hit the car, I'm gonna give y'all some advice, bro, about bikes and trucks, anything with a clutch. If you're trying to stop, Man, look, if you in, let's say you in last gear, I say fourth gear, fifth gear, man, when you trying to stop, man, look, you got to risk it all. All the way down to first gear. You want to stop, man, look, it don't matter if you're doing 50. You go all the way down to first gear. Let your, let your uh, what you call it, transmission break. While your transmission break and you want to break too, guess what? You going to stop faster. I learned that after I hit the car. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's just, man, look, life got to go different. If it don't go different, dog, I'm just going to end up going to the military. I ain't even capping. I don't want to go. I do not want to fight for the United States of America. I love you. All right, I love, I love this country. It's a dope country. I don't want to fight for y'all. I, I just can't do it. I really can't. It's not in my nature to go and fight. Or not really. I don't really have to fight, but... You know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. I don't feel like signing a waiver and boom, I'm in the military, never leaving. So I gave myself a reason to change my life, and this is how I'm changing it. Uh, your boy, honestly, got a lot coming. Got a lot coming, y'all. I want to be able to buy my first house by 23, and I'm not talking about no small, average size house. I want something big. By 23, dog. And I'm 20 years old. I got three years. I got three years to up my credit. I got three years to save my money. I got three years to invest my money the right way. The right way. Y'all understand what I'm saying? The right way. And like I said, I don't want to be 23, man, sitting in front of this camera. Same camera. Y'all, I'm 23. It's time for me to get this life started. Oh no, uh-uh, bro, I'm 20. Let's get this start life started right now. That's how I should have been thinking when I was 19, 18. That's why my best advice to you, dog, if you 19, you 18, you 17, man, look, forget about the parties, forget about the girlfriends, all the extra stuff. Forget about all of it. Save your money, put it to the side, dog, because you're going to regret it when you're 20. I'm telling you, you is going to regret it. You're going to be like, you're going to have people come in. Oh, yeah, but you was having fun. You was a kid. You was having fun. No, no. See, when I have kids, they're going to be rich. When I have kids, they're going to be rich. Because I learned from my mistakes, my parents' mistakes, my, you know, grandparents' mistakes, if they really made any. Pretty much they set. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by set, I mean like their life is peaceful. You know what I'm saying? And... That's my inspiration, my grandparents, so 
like I said, y'all, it's it's time for me to change up a little bit. Uh, last girl I was messing with played me, and uh, I'm not playing with no more females. That's dead. I don't trust nobody in this generation. This whole generation is trash. Yeah, I said it. My generation is trash. All y'all trash. All I'm worried about is money, credit, and building. So I want y'all to do that too. Worry about money, credit, and building. Uh, thank y'all for tuning into the sit down video. Really, honestly, I'm just gonna post it like this. I'm gonna post this video probably, uh, I say two days in advance. I'm giving y'all two days. So two days, this is two days ago. I just posted this video. Y'all just seen it. I hope that y'all like, uh, you know, go through the video and reach the end. Thank you if you made it to the end. And I hope that what I said changed your life. Um, let's change our life, man. It's Camman Don. It's Camman Don ENT. I'm known as Lejot. That's my rapper name. Uh, you know, whatever. My music name. I go to the studio every week. And I'm going to keep y'all in tune with me.